Hi, my name is Anna Levesque, and I'm an American Canoe Association instructor trainer in stand-up paddleboarding, and I've been running women's paddling camps and classes for over a decade. In this video, I want to empower women to load their own boards, so let's go over the process step by step. The first thing you need is a rack system with towers and crossbars for your vehicle. You can go to your local outfitter shop and they will help you get set up with that. Next, you need some straps, some cam straps. Um, and it's very beneficial to have cam straps where the buckle, the metal buckle is covered in rubber so that you protect your board. We need to take our cam straps and place them around the crossbars. And you'll want to take one end and put it towards the front of the car and then the other end so that they're ready before you place your board on your roof. Now that we have our two straps ready to go on our roof racks, it's time to lift and load our board. So lifting and loading your board by yourself is easier than you think. Here's a really simple way. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend down, bending at the knees, take the board at the nose, and stand it up on end. So I'm gonna walk the board on end until I come to the handle, place ha my hands on either rail, place the crown of my head right in the handle, and then lift up like so. And then what I like to do is actually lift up with my hands above my head to protect my neck. I slide the board right onto the roof rack, fin first and now I'm ready to strap it down. So I'm gonna take my straps and take them over the nose and make sure that they don't get crossed. Yeah, and because I have a van, it's a little higher, I'm gonna have to open my door to be able to reach. You could also get a footstool if you needed to, if your um, car is a little higher. So now I'm gonna place the buckle up on top of the board and don't worry if your straps are twisted slightly, that's not a big deal. You'll still be able to securely tie your board down. The other piece of strap I'm gonna take underneath the crossbar and then up. And then I'm gonna thread it through the buckle and pull down. But I'm not gonna pull down super tight yet because we still need to adjust the front strap. So now the front buckle is ready to be threaded through. And now that both straps are uh, on the board and around the rack, I'm gonna tighten down on both of them. So then with the long strap, different people do different things. What I like to do is just add a little bit more tension by wrapping it over and under. And so right here, I'll thread it through and under and I'll tighten it. And I'll do that a few times. So now that I've secured my board to my roof, I'm gonna check it to make sure it doesn't move. And then I know that I have successfully tied it down to my roof rack and I can confidently drive to the water. For more women's specific videos, subscribe to Stand Up Paddling TV on YouTube.